Hi, I'm James Collins and I'm a guitar maker from England and this is the Sapphire GTO. This guitar was made as a tribute to the Blue Guitar Collection, in particular the work of Steve Grimes. One of Steve's guitars had come to my workshop for repair and I thought it was one of the most wonderful things I've ever seen. So when the time came for another signature GTO, I drew inspiration from Steve's work and the Blue Guitar Collection. I absolutely love vintage Gibson guitars and I have a lot of respect for the traditional designs and our workshop here is a Gibson service centre in the UK. That said, I am a graduate of the Gallup School of Luthery in Michigan. I'm fascinated by modern guitar making and this model combines both these things that I love. So what this means in practice is that I've refined the design and I use all solid woods in the construction of my guitars. The bodies are made from solid flame maple and the hand carved top is made from European spruce. This gives the guitar a voice more like an L5 and a 335, but you still get the benefits of a compact body and a double cutaway. And the neck meets the body at the 18th fret, giving you better access. You may be wondering about the F hole. This is our crescent F hole design, which is a continuation of the maple wave the sine wave through the fretboard. And once again, this is done entirely by hand. And in another tribute to Steve Grimes, I've used Hawaiian koa for the bindings and pickup surrounds and switched it. Just imagine how much hard work goes into lacquering and buffing koa pickup surrounds by hand, but it's worth it. So you can have your own choice of pickups. This guitar here has humbuckers made by us here in and they're potted with local Sussex beeswax. This blue guitar was intended to be a one-off, but I have been asked to make a couple more. If you would like to know more about my work, please do get in touch.